what is sanskrit in this session we will learn about asal script and what it is and how it will form and uh, how it will uh, execute by using the prompt of a terminal prompt in linux like distributions and flavors of the operating system here majorly a script is a frame with a set of rules where the file is executed using shell prompt with an extension of a file and with the dot sh is called shell script strongly remember that a script is framed with a set of rules where file is executing with shell prompt that extension of the end of the file is dot sh called shell script this script is written with a group of commands to execute one by one these scripts may include variables loop statements conditional statements and controlling the processes controlling the running jobs and automation scripts like scheduling regular backups and uh, alerting the systems on a particular time using cron job scheduling attachments those automation cell script files may be written by using these cell scripts and here i would like to tell you a simple example in my server is having mysql database where i want to schedule the database on every day night 12 noon it should start initiate with the taking of the backup where my server is a very downtime like a downtime means no hits or very less hits at that time that time i want to take my database backup as a fresh copy on regular intervals it should run automatically i make a script of the shell script using to take the backup of the commands such commands in a form of a .sh file and that script file a group of commands i'll make it as in a same single file with the extension of sh and i'll attach the the script file to while writing preparing of the cron job where my cron job i am preparing initiating and uh, there is in a cron job preparation is there to make it as in a scheduling for the date time and when it should be executed who is the author of the execution of this permission of the file need to be mentioned at cron job and the script of the file to be appropriately based on the schedule it will executes on day wise on every day the same time what we have mentioned in the cron job majorly i want to tell you the thing simple thing is these scripts are written for to save much time and creating a standard procedure to do the functionalities and activities in linux server or linux desktop machines on regular basis activities you would like to see here for a example of a shell script i am prepare for creating of the file using the touch command touch space test.sh i am using here and uh, vi space test.sh by using the vi editor i am uh, opening the test.sh file and adding hash exclamatory mark forward slash bin forward slash sh here i would like to tell you a simple thing that adding two commands that is one is the pwd present working directory and uh, list of the files and directories ls command the two commands when i run the test.sh file it should be run now see here this is a require hash hash and uh, hash and exclamatory mark is a mandatory this is the line is mandatory for the shell script file why the system will identify this is the file is a shell script you strongly remember that the system will identify with this is in a shell script the hash indicate you know this is the symbol is hash and this is the file 
uh, the exclamatory mark also we can call it as uh, she bang okay the bang which is a keyword when in a terminal terminology of the linux it's in the bang word she sharp bang sharp bang it should be used to identify the shell script and i am writing this is the pwd and ls to quit the vi editor from here you'll use to write and quit it will exit now on the prompt you'll try to execute the command of uh, test dot s if it is asking any permissions for execution you try to search mode plus x give give us an uh, appropriate uh, permissions of the execution permissions to that file and hit enter and uh, try to run the above command this one once and you will find out the pwd directory where you are executing this command and uh, ls of the list of the files and directories of the automatically it will comes likewise you need to prepare a shell script simple shell script and practice one by one you will uh, have an idea to get an output so very simple and very easy to write shell scripting in using linux uh, shell scripts thank you for watching this session thank you